The gearbox moves the discharge chute left or right as the joystick rotates the chute rod. If the chute control gearbox is damaged or stripped, and the discharge chute won't move, you can replace the gearbox using the steps in this video. Wear work gloves to protect your hands. Now, let's get started. Remove the three screws from the joystick handle and separate the handle halves. Disconnect the trigger cable and set the joystick handle, trigger, and cable slide receiver aside. Pull the trigger cable out of the control panel. Release it from the cable bracket on the muffler shroud. Remove the chute rod cotter pin and slide the chute rod out of the gearbox. Remove the bolt that attaches the gearbox to the chute bracket. Remove the wing nut from the bottom of the gearbox. Pull the cotter pin out of the gearbox mounting pin. Remove the gearbox mounting pin. Lift the gearbox off the support bracket and shoot. Route the new trigger cable through the cable bracket on the muffler shroud. Push the cable up through the oval opening in the bottom of the control panel. Position the end of the cable in the cable slide receiver. Place the cable slide in the right half of the trigger handle with the slot and cable ball facing the trigger. Reinstall the trigger in the pivot hole on the right half of the trigger handle and slip the trigger tab into the cable slide receiver slot. Insert the cable sleeve end into the bracket on the right half of the trigger handle. Reinstall the left half of the trigger handle onto the right half and slide the handle onto the trigger shaft while holding the two halves together. Reinstall the trigger mounting screws. Hold the new gearbox over the chute and align the flat sides of the gearbox shaft with the flat sides on the chute bracket receiver. Reinstall the pin through the support bracket and gearbox and secure it with the cotter pin. Reinstall the mounting bolt through the gearbox and support bracket and secure it with the wing nut. Reinstall the mounting bolt through the gearbox and into the chute bracket. Center the trigger on the control panel and make sure that the chute is still facing straight ahead to align the trigger control. Insert the end of the chute rod into the new gearbox. Align the holes in the chute rod with the holes in the drive shaft receiver and reinstall the cotter pin.